Hey, ke hey, ke hey, ke hi everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying a lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'm going to show you on how to set up Vinyan in OBS so that way you can be able to show your audience your beautiful face. Because how else are you going to have your audience see your beautiful face if you don't know how to put the Vinyan in OBS? So, let's talk about that. So, first and foremost, make sure that you have Vinyan downloaded as well as OBS. Make sure that you have the newest version of OBS, unless for specific reasons you are not using the newest version of OBS, but I am using the newest version of OBS though. So, make sure you update your OBS. And once you have that, what you're going to then do is you're going to go to the description below and you're going to download this Spout 2 OBS plugin. This is very important because without this, you can't VTube unless you're using Game Capture, but this is probably like a much better way to, again, have your avatar with proper transparency and no UI will appear at all. It just looks nicer. So make sure you, to, you know, download the via the EXE, click on this and make sure you download. But of course, if by any chance you are using the portable version of OBS, then make sure you use this version and put it in your plugins folder, depending on where it is. Um, now, I'm not going to go through the EXE setup as it's very straightforward. Just click next to everything and say yes. So, once you make sure you download this plugin, what you're going to then do is you're going to go over to uh, the top right here, your menu, then go over to your settings. Once you have that, what you're going to then do, I believe, is under graphics. Yep. Uh, you're going to go to your graphics and then over here, there is Spout 2 Sender. Click on this to use Spout 2. You can change the Spout name if needed, but the default one is perfectly fine. It's called Vinyan Spout. Once you have that set up, you're going to then open up your OBS over here, and then you're going to click on the plus button right here, and then there is the Spout 2 capture right here. If for whatever reason you can't see this, again, feel free to join Superdose Discord server and ask away, or again, in the uh, off world's uh, GitHub here. There is an issues page if you want to report any bugs that may have occurred. But other than that, though, click on the plus, um, click on the spout to capture right here, and click on OK. Now, I will be appearing. Let me just move that out the way. So that way, you don't have to see me right now. But over here, there's the properties for the spout too. So make by default, it should automatically detect Vinyan, but I highly recommend making sure to specify Vinyan Spout, especially if you use other programs that may utilize Spout, such as Shoost for the fancy looking effects. So I definitely say make sure, you know, specify so it doesn't like override or something. And then for composite mode, you can choose any of the three here, depending on what looks best to you. Um, but pre multiply alpha or default can work fine. I will choose pre-multiplied alpha in this case, but again, it's up to you. If you see issues, let's say with your bloom or glowing settings, then make sure to just change these settings around until it looks right or that might be a different issue. But go ahead and click on OK. And then from there, you're able to have your model inside of OBS. So you can, of course, just rescale with the transform thing here. If that, you know, if that's your cup of tea, pretty much. And, uh, that's, you know, if you want to do that, most people tend to do it. But the thing, the issue with doing this, by the way, is the fact that you'll probably experience moments where your model's going to just cut off like this. You see how like my wing is just like being cut off by this edge here and it just doesn't look natural. So what I usually tend to recommend is make sure again, right click on the source, transform, make sure to fit to screen, which I'm not going to do that because then you won't be able to see my what I'm trying to show you, but once you, uh, you know, once you make sure this is pretty much full screen, you can go to Vinyan and you can actually be able to set up cameras. Uh, I believe it's in settings and I think it was somewhere in miscellaneous. Yeah, miscellaneous. And you can set up your cameras here. I believe I have a dedicated tutorial regarding how to set up cameras in Vinyan though. So you can check out that tutorial. Um, that I'm, I'm not sure how up to date it is, but you can check it out for reference on how to utilize it. But other than that, 
uh, you know, thing up your hotkeys here via the blue, you know, the node graph here and such. You like, you know, besides the camera toggles and all that, you're pretty much good to go and you're already, you know, just ready to VTube now. I'm so proud of you. So that's all I really have to say though. I hope you have a lovely day and see you guys next time, okay? Bye bye! Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership. So if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise though, just your support means so much to me and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way though, with that being said though, hey, 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 goodbye bye everyone. I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye bye.